Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Tajendra. In this video, we are going to discuss a very important concept of OpenShift image history. And we will see how we can use the private images, private registry in our OpenShift namespace. For it, we have to authenticate our OpenShift to the private registry. So first, let me move to our cluster environment. So this is our cluster and I am already logged in as a developer user in the cluster, okay? And uh, to demonstrate, I have two uh, private uh, registry. Okay, one is in the QA.io, right? So this is the private registry and another is the docker.io private registry. Okay, so here, uh, here I am having the same kind of images and what we will do, uh, we will um, uh, associate these uh, uh, private repositories, image repositories to our OpenShift namespace and then we will use these images and create the uh, applications, OpenShift applications, okay? So here are a number of ways we can authenticate these private repositories and image registries into our OpenShift cluster. So we will discuss them one by one. So first one is we can create the secret and we'll provide our <clears throat> registry information, user ID and password. And then we will have to link that secret to, to our service account. Another way is we can use the, uh, the second way we can use the Podman login, right? And then by using the Podman token, we can create the secret. And again, then we can associate the secret with our service account, default service account. So, so let me see both the method one by one for it, let me, move back to our OpenShift cluster and first create a new project. <clears throat> OpenShift new project and let's name it test one. Okay, and now first try to create the uh, applications with this image. Okay, and since it is a private registry, so we will get a error on it. Okay, so let me try it. For it, we have to give command OC new app. Let we name it as testing one. Okay, uh, sorry, we have to provide with the hyphen hyphen name. And then we are going to use our image. Okay, so for it, we have to give image and let me get this image from the Docker. Okay, so this is our. <clears throat> image url let me copy it and then it will begin with the docker io docker dot io and then slash and our image name and the tag is the latest if i will try it because it is the private registry so uh, it should be fail here, okay? So let me see, and uh, we can see here, uh, container remote failed. You may not have access to the container image, this right? So that's why I was saying. So <clears throat> what we have to do, we have to create the secret first, and we have to authenticate our um, uh, cluster namespace to that private registry. Only then we can pull that image from that private registry okay so how we can do it <clears throat> so first way is we can create a secret okay and secret would be the docker registry type let me copy it here <clears throat> so what we are going to do here is we are creating a secret and secret type is the docker registry and I am giving it name, secret name as the my Docker. And uh, then it is the Docker server information, docker.io, right? It might be the QA.io or maybe any other, your, your registry, private registry information, <clears throat> your Docker username, okay? In my case, it is tsrana1. And then you have to provide your password. So let me providing your my password now. Okay, so our secret has been created. Let me check it. We'll see, get secret. So our secret with the name my Docker has been created. Now we have to link this secret to our service account. How we can do it? OC secret. Okay, 
link with the default service account. Secret name is my Docker. And for pull the image. So it's done. Now let's check our creating new application with again try to run this command and this time it should be able to get the image. So it's done. Now we check with the OC get all. Right. So our pod is created and pod is running very good. Okay. Now, let me see the second way how we can authenticate our cluster okay, to the private registry. For it, let me create another project here. We'll see new project and let name it as test two. We are in the test two project now. Okay, uh, for it, uh, what we have to do, we have to first log in uh, into the registry. Okay, for this example, we will going to use our QA.io private registry. Okay, now let uh, first uh, give command podman <clears throat> login and in the QA. Okay, so I am already logged in into the QA.io. Okay. Now we have to create uh, the secret based on the token, okay, of this uh, uh, podman login. For it, we have to give this command. What it will do, it will create a secret, okay, and this secret would be the generic kind of secret. I am giving it name as my QA, okay, from file, and this is the file location, okay. So here in this location, container or dot json our token it will get our token the authentication token of the podman and based on this it will create the secret okay if we so it is saying secret is created if i check it or see get secret okay so our secret my way is created right and now again we have to link this secret to the default service account so OC secret link default and secret name is my quid and for put right. So we have done it. And now let again uh, uh, create uh, uh, the applications. Okay, let this time in this application let we name it as testing two, and uh, we are getting this from the qa.io. And uh, the repository for you are we have to give my name, my qa.io uh, username is Tejendra Rana. Okay, everything is same. Okay, so this command is also successful in both way. I have uh, uh, shown you that by using both way, you can add uh, the secrets, okay, and then can associate the secret into your namespace, default service account, okay, services in running, okay, the current kit is, container is being created, okay. Now let's see uh, the another part of this, okay. If we will give command OC get image stream, Right, so currently, uh, as of now, we can see, right, so because as of now, we done the command OC new app, okay. So that one image has been downloaded and uh, is loaded into our image stream, right. If we need to import an image directly into the image stream and then from that image, uh, if we uh, 
wanted to create a application or so maybe that image can be used as the h2i base image okay so how we can do it for it we can give command oc import okay this is the command oc import image okay let me give uh, the image name as my image okay and uh, uh, I am getting it from uh, again QA.io, my private repository. And since I have already uh, uh, associated my secrets, okay, uh, into the default service account, so it should be able to import the image now, right? So our image has been imported. And I, for now we will give command OC get image stream now, right? So you can see. Uh, it has imported this image, right? Latest 10, 10, 10 seconds, okay. Let me create a applications using this uh, uh, image stream, okay? For it, we have to give command OC new app. Let name it testing three. And uh, then Hyphen I is for the image stream, and our image stream name is my image, and tag is latest. Right. So if we check OC get all, okay, we can see that uh, our pod testing three is also being created. Okay. So uh, that's all for this video. I hope you will like it. Thank you.